Okay, we are back. Me and Andrew playing Jack and Daxter. Mm-hmm. And now we have to go back to Crew because he is a he's gonna colossal be, fat ass. He's gonna be uh, a lot of our he's gonna be giving us a lot of our jobs early in the game, isn't he? Yeah. Well we are technically a criminal, so we kinda do have to work for the uh, the mob. Well, we don't have to, but they just give us cool shit. Okay. Uh, I was I was thinking out of desperation, but you just had to make it weird. Well, no, no, that is exactly why it works for Crew. I mean, do you think if Crew didn't give him, like... I well, mean, he's got connections, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. He give you passes through the rest of the city. Right. It's not just for selfish reasons. Come on, give Jack a little bit more credit. Oh, I'm not saying he's selfish. I just... Well, you're coming about as <laughs> him saying, Oh, I like him because he gives me guns. So I'm gonna suck his dick. Right now I'm in trouble now because I'm right, no, no, thinking no. about somebody's dick. No, no, yeah, have a point. He does get a few connections from it too. He does need to know stuff, but I don't think he would be as eager to work for crew if he didn't also get nice guns. Well, nobody's you... nobody's eager to work with him because he's a he's a he's a scumbag. Yeah. And a mm. fat ball sack as well. He just looks like a pair of testicles with a head on top. It's like a human mudslide. What is that horrible smell? <coughs> He's got a bit of a big boss eye, doesn't he? Uh, what you mean, blinded? Yeah. Well, okay, not big boss. Uh, venom snake. Mm. Got venom snake eyeball. No. Well, to be fair, I think that's even on the right hand side as well. That's probably what a uh, big boss's eye looks like too. Nice work in the sewers. No, you've probably got a big chunk of it cut out. That's like a big. That's like a big giveaway at the beginning of a game. I don't know. Because it, it got shot in the eye, a big chunk of it would have come out. It doesn't... Well, I don't know if it just grazed him, because apparently, according to Paramedic, it just grazed the cornea. Yeah, and there was... destroyed his cornea, that's what you said. Hmm. To the point where it didn't work anymore, and... Well, it didn't go you know, for... That's it, still it, gonna... It... it looked fine on Venom Snake. Hmm. What am I doing? Where am I going? Is he giving me a new gun already? Yeah, yeah. We start this one with a new gun. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, no, wait. This is the new gun for what we just did for him. Oh, okay. So, this doesn't count for a mission. No, of course it doesn't. <coughs> are you okay? Oh, my God, Andrew, are you okay? Did you die? Oh, he's dead. Oh, now I can take all this stuff, like his, um... His Doctor Who CDs, which I don't want, but could easily... Oh, did you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Punched backwards. What a bunch of bullshit. So now we have the the blaster, which is sort of like a just a rifle, really. Mhm. Mm See, this is a this is a game that really has a good amount of guns, isn't it? Yeah. And you know, they. Whoops. I think like the president today is just to have loads and loads and loads of guns, no matter how much they affect each other. Like a lot of them that do the same job, whereas this one. It's got a, you know, short range, wide attack, speed, range, and regular speed, and then it's got the powerhouse, which is the Peace Walker, but low ammo. It's a good mix. Oh, you can actually leave this one, it's pretty good. Yeah, nowadays, what I do, in any kind of game, oh shit, you do have to do it. It is an objective. Alright, go ahead. Or I'll do that. Um, this doesn't count as a mission. Oh, this one. Uh, but yeah, what I was, what I do now during games, if I have like multiple choices for weapons, I always choose stuff that will come in handy in like different situations. So, you know, the scatter gun, you've got like a bunch of enemies at once. Oh shit, I'm doing shit. Ah! Ah! God. Terrible. Yeah, the scatter gun, you know, you got a lot of enemies all at once. And you want to take them all out simultaneously because it's a wide range. Mm -hmm. With a blaster, it's like you know, um, uh, you know, more ranged. It's just, it's not scattered. It's just for one enemy, but like far away. To be fair, though, I think um, one of the moves that is maybe a bit broken. This I mentioned this before is the spin kick shoot because you can do so much by just spinning and kicking using the blaster. It, I mean, at times it's pretty much just as quick, if not quicker, than, uh, you know, the Vulcan Fury gun. Yeah. Oh, shh, shh. Oh, I got a gold one there, randomly. Ah, kill the kid! 
Oh fuck. Also, what I think Jack um Fucking what hell. I, what I think Jack 2 does really good is um you know all the eco from the previous game. I used to kind of miss it once I had actually played the first game. But then I realized they just kind of weaved the um eco into other avenues of gameplay, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Like but you got yellow eco for this gun, red eco for the scat gun. Well, not just that. I mean, like, the guns are like the replacement for yellow eco. That's like the long range fire attack. Yeah. And dark jack is like red eco because it improves your moves and uh, stuff. The only thing that doesn't really represent is blue eco, which is, uh, you know, that used to, like, be telekinesis, didn't it? Sort of. It was just like that was more like an en of an energy source, really. Yeah, that it was used for energy. But it also sped you up and stuff. I think maybe in Jack Free, the blue eco is kind of represented by the white eco because, you know, you can slow down time, can't you, to go quicker and stuff. Can I just say, this is probably the worst run I have ever done of this gun course. Well, yeah. I mean, it happens, you know. What you do? How the fuck are you supposed to do that? <coughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. God damn it, I suck. Okay, that still doesn't count. Well, I told you it didn't. It sucks. I mean, I suck. Okay, okay, Dicks? should we go to crew? Or should we go to torn? We have a choice now. We can side with whoever we want. Well, I'd probably save time if you go to crew, but you know, whatever mission you feel like doing. I don't know which mission is which, so I'll just go. I think go. if you do cruise missions, you get the yellow pass. No, wait, no, no. If you do Torn's missions, you get the yellow pass, which makes a mission for crew easier later on. Right. But uh, it doesn't really matter now, because there's a few missions down the line. Yeah, we'll just go with whatever. I mean, we might do how we're, do how we're alternating our goes. We, you know, we'll alternate. We'll go to crew first. Even though the last mission we did was with crew, but I ain't had a mission with crew yet, I don't think. Have I? Uh, only if you count that one where you took over from me. You know, the one that you said I was oh, too yeah, bad at to play. <laughs> and then I got annoyed and like felt like I had to prove that I was still good at the game, even though you suggested that in, in some level that you were better than me at it, generally. Who's a homosexual? A client of oh. mine is well, he can't be that homosexual. He has a daughter. He's a well, he's homosexual well now. Oh, okay. Uh, and your contract with he's your like characters from Game of Thrones who are gay. Like, uh, they have sex with women only to, like, impregnate them. <laughs> and then for the rest of their days, they're just, like, <laughs> sucking dick. Oh, we're racing. No, we're not racing yet, I don't think, are we? No, actually, I don't think we're racing. But, if it's got anything to do with racing, I probably won't like it. Game right. Ha 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 because we're in the game. Look yeah. at the text. They actually have... So many, like, characters for the text in this game. I've never, have you ever tried deciphering it? If you can get Is it de decipherable? Yeah. Oh, no, I haven't. Have you? No, but I've read some of the translations online. It's like, um, you know Gravity Falls has all those ciphers? Yeah. Most of the time, because I'm not crazy, like, well, not as crazy as a bunch of other people, but just do it really quickly. Um, I usually just look it up online. The only one I ever did was when we did the shorts, and there's all these images that you got to line up and combine all the ciphers from the previous episodes to decode a message. And I actually really enjoy that. Like when I, it probably wasn't that difficult, but it was just really, really fun to do. Like, okay, pause the video, screen cap, combine. All right, scrum, scrum through all the other episodes, get all the other ciphers, and do all this and that. And uh, that was really fun. But. The new ones, they have this thing where they hide a number or a word in the episode, and I can't be asked to be looking for like a word, like frame scrubbing, you know? Like that kind yeah. of that kind of destroys my enjoyment of it. By the way, you were right about this mission. Um, if you do get the the gate, yeah, then it doesn't make it easier. It changes the time limit you have. Oh, does it? Uh, yeah, and it changes like because the, the, the icon right now is telling me to go a specific direction, but. If you do that mission where you get the gate key, then it will give you a different uh, path to go. I, d <coughs> I didn't realise it was this early on. Me, me, me neither, actually. Um, but I remember when I first played this game, I got annoyed at the Sig mission. 
and I stopped playing it. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's where I stopped playing it. Mm. You also stopped playing at the um, Hellcat mission, didn't you? Where all those Hellcats are around town. Yeah, that's fucking bullshit. <coughs> I hate that mission. I'm, I'm, I would be so happy if you had to do the mission. But then again, I've gotten quite good at this game. So now it's time to take your revenge. Ah, you fucker. Do you know, did I tell you what Woo! happened the other day? I was applying for a job at Subway, yeah? Yeah. And did you know there's um, you know you got us like filling questionnaires and oh yeah, all that stuff. I hate that. It's such stupid questions because all the because they they give you like multiple answers, but the multiple answers are just like agree, slightly disagree, yeah, disagree, slightly disagree. Yeah, it's just stupid. You what? either agree, or you don't. Well, I don't know. I mean, there are degrees to agreeing, but it's just it was more of the questions that bothered me, and it got really interpersonal, like asking you. Oh, how do you react in social situations? And do you feel like you're a complete person and all this and that? And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, it's way too personal. Yeah, and you know what the <laughs> worst one was? What? It's just, it seemed weird. It's like, I, uh, do you seek vengeance on yeah, those who yeah. seek to do you I, harm? I'm literally, <laughs> I did it the other day and I looked at that question and I was like, what the fuck I know. are you trying to ask here? What, is, what do they think I, uh, I don't, is this a mob no, I job? I that. What? I said slightly agree. <laughs> now that you asked it, if you didn't ask that, I, w I would have said disagree. Uh, hello. Crew said someone. Now I must seek vengeance driver? against Subway. Uh, who's this lovely honey? Yeah. Well, okay. Do you remember the music that's playing right now? Yeah, it's, it's like, like it's going smooth jazz. Yeah. It's like ooh, getting no. ready for like, Is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> Did you order a pizza? <laughs> All right, fine. Don't, don't do stuff. Whatever. Look at that sassy head movement. She's like, eh, 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 and just crack. <laughs> yeah, I used to think that Kira's cat, Kira's sass, kind of came out of nowhere in later games, but she actually is kind of sassy in these ones, isn't she? Oh well, yeah, there's a lot of time that's passed, and maybe she's had to de de develop her sass. Yeah. In order to, you know, fend off people like Errol. Mm. Fucking Errol, hitting on my girl, mm. fat ass. <laughs> well, to be fair, he, he could probably be charming, but he's obviously an asshole when the chips well, are he's down. He's walking so slowly. Hey. <laughs> like, he's using the power of his mustache alone. <laughs> it's Look like, how huge he is as well. It's like he's just had some kind of trauma. He's like, I just don't get it. I don't understand. Why would they ask me if I seek vengeance out on those who do harm to yeah. me? It's, it's just such a weird question. Look at this guy. He's kind of awkward. Like, as soon as you step in front of him, he just goes... Hey, oh, no. She's not like, no. She does it as well. Eh, no, get away. No. Jesus Christ. Look at the size of her nip cushion. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure where I was going there, but I'm glad I went in the direction I went. Mm. Do you uh, want to do jet boarding? Yeah, I kind of do. You, I you don't mind, do you? Jet. No, no, go ahead. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So the jet board is like one of the best things about this game. I mean, I guess um, this kind of counts as a mission too because you're... Gun course one counted the mission. Yeah. I might need the headphones. Okay. What are you doing? Sorry, it's just uh. You were backing up when I was trying to put it on your head. You're like, no, no, <laughs> just step away from my hair. <laughs> it has things living inside. You fucking disgusting. Sorry, bastard. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I uh, finished my sentence and Andrew instantly just went. <laughs> Um, right, so getting high marks on like a jet board mission, I mean, I'll be honest, it's a bit spammy, but you need a certain work ethic to it. And uh, it's hard to put into words what that is, like I was trying to describe how to do it to Daniel. What? <laughs> I was trying to describe how to be good at the, uh, how to be good at the jet board mission for da to Daniel, but um. Jesus, it, Andrew, you stink. I'm sorry. All right. Right, Andrew's in focus mode. He's farted so I can't speak through my... I'm pulling my t-shirt over my nose so I don't smell it. But then again, I have to speak because he's in concentration mode. It's really pissing me off. What have you done, Andrew? This is not collaboration at all, isn't it? Have you already done it? Oh, you already did it. Yeah, Andrew's... When he does this, he just... He just... You should see his face. He's like... I must... I must reach deep inside myself. And... Figure out what what makes me me. It's like Dragon Ball Z. 
today's attribute we will be looking at C for constipation, which is the face Andrew is pulling. Do you think you're gonna get gold? You've nearly got silver. I don't know, gold's quite far. Okay. Well, it is quite far. It's like 1200 or something. If it's 50. No, not 1200. Uh, 1000 thousand. I don't know. It's something stupid like that. Hey, you got it. You only need. Oh, you might do that, actually. You did that in good time. Holy sh fucking shit, that was crazy. Look at him go. And Dax is just like. Ha, oh, ha. Oh, how is Dax to keep it on when he's doing all this crazy shit? I mean, that takes coordination just from just staying on the board with him. Oh! You did it! Yeah! Oh, you just did it! Well oh done. my god, I've never done that on my first go! Well, well done to you. I had a motherfucker's fucking with my shit! You beastly bastard. Alright, yeah. It, 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 that didn't get my heart going as, as much as it usually does. You know, like when something's a game's really tense and really hard and requires all your focus and you just get your heart pounding? Yep. Yeah, I guess I've gotten too used to it, you know. I can imagine that somebody, like, if they want to do really good at a game, right? Somebody has to be there to actually perform CPR on them because they like <laughs> putting all of their body and mind into this just just with a controller, like on five pounds of coke or something. I don't know what that is, but cocaine. Whatever. Oh, I th when you said on five pounds of coke, I thought you meant. Five pounds of coke was the name of a program. That's that's a good name for a program. Yeah, I guess like, it it's is. Like, it's like a packet of crisps, uh, lager, and a packet of crisps. Yeah, I just go uh, see my wife, and uh, and I'll hand the controller over to you. Your waifu. Yes. She's your waifu because she could be considered anime. She's got like the blue hair, and she's got the big bug eyes. And she's all. She can be quite sundere. I don't know what that means. It mean it's kind of a personality type where you don't like to admit that you actually like people. It's like, oh, I might as well go with you since All I don't right. have anything better to do. Those crazy bitches. Yeah, they tend to have like really long pigtails, don't they? And glasses or something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. There is this. There is this. There's actually a character in Naruto, Naruto called Tsunade, and. Uh, She's sort of like that, mm. but she's got an excuse. She's drunk all the time, <laughs> and she kind of has pigtails. She has like ponytails, just like at the back of her head. Oh. Yeah, she's voiced by Meryl. Oh, cool. Yeah, she's a cool like voice that. actress. Yeah, she's got a nice raspy voice. She'd actually be good to play Kira. I don't know why. Do you, do you know why the original Kira voice actress was replaced? I don't think she'd be good for Kira. She's got too deep of a voice. So it's raspy like she was, like Kira is. Well, well, yeah, but I think the rasp is kind of essential. And, you know, that's the thing. I like Tara Strong and everything, but I didn't really like her take on Kira, you know? No, I didn't. It didn't seem to embody sort of like the um, tech whiz aspect of the character. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't seem like a smart aleck at all. She just seemed like a bit of a... Well, I'll be honest, a, a tiny bit bland. I thought you were going to say black. <laughs> she's just, high, just the tiniest bit black. <laughs> you don't know me. Let me get to know oh, you. Shit, here. I forgot! I forgot the controls. <laughs> I'm not what like... If, what if that was Errol? You don't know me. Yeah. He just drives into those barrels and dies. <laughs> Turns out I was actually a deformed cyborg all along. And they now do, I'm a deformed cyborg on the outside as well. They do um, break the fourth wall a couple of times in this game. Well, mm. they don't break the fourth wall, but they do mention the word game mm. quite often. Well, I don't know. I, f I would say it's breaking the fourth wall. I guess. Yeah. It's like a, he, he says, game over, Jack, before he dies or something. Yeah. Did you say that? I can't remember. It's not so much breaking the fourth wall as it is just like giving it a playful prod. Oh, uh, just so everybody knows, these things over here, these weird hologram things, if they light up with this image, that means you can do like a little mini game for orbs. But we're not really that bothered about orbs. We might do the orbs at the end of the game. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I well, mean, this, this is a little tougher to do on the orb front because they're not as on your way, are they? No. Oh shit, I ran over a girl. <gasps> oh no! And now she's dead and will never ever live again. 
I'm sure she'll be fine once you respawn. Holy shit! Jesus! You see that fucking... Okay, let me try that again, because I'm pretty sure I knew exactly what I did there. Alright. You gotta eject as you're doing that. Do you know what I mean? E kind of. Alright, so you gotta go full speed. Full speed ahead. Here we go. Am I full speed ahead now. Book pie. Hey! hey! That's pretty nifty. It is pretty nifty. We'll have to remember that for Jack 3, because there's a couple of places <coughs> where are like you can actually take advantage of like vehicle skills and like jump on onto like high platforms. Well you can do that in this as well, you know. I know, but there's not a, there's not as much opportunity. No no like as I I watched someone glitch their way through this game all the way to the tomb of Ma. Basically they get their way through a wall uh, an invisible wall, you know, where they're meant to be barricaded off, yeah? And then they use a car to actually glitch their way into the Tomb of Ma. That was one of the scenes that was in uh, the trailer. And it just, it just, it just made it for the trailer. It was like, oh, this is going to be a great sequel. This isn't going to be like happy platforming and punching yeah. lurkers and all that. This is going to be assholes who talk to you and tell you to do stuff. And growling at you and shit. Yeah. Arrgh!